lost it and went out of bounds. We just kind of let the frustration go a little bit. <laughs> you just try to try to have a, a quick, like clear memory. Like as soon as you make mistakes, just get over it and keep moving on because you know you can't dwell on stuff like that in the middle of the game. Do you kind of pile up mentally when you know when you had that you missed a couple, you missed a couple. I mean, you have a mental thing at all during the game? Uh, they kind of do, but you just try to do your best and just move on to the next play in order to win the game. And then afterward, you know, you watch the film and see what you could have done better. But for sure, in the game, you just try to just keep moving on to the next play. D from a defensive standpoint, what was the, the problem? Do you think early on? They hit. They were just making them shots. I mean, I think they only shot like 60 percent from the field and almost like 45 from three. So they were just making shots. Um, a couple of times, I felt like they had some good looks. Like I gave Reavers like a deep three, but I guess he shoots deep three, so that was a, a matchup mistake. Um, but otherwise, I felt like we did pretty good. Sometimes on the ball screens, we weren't really sure what we were gonna do if we were gonna. <coughs> If we're going to hedge it or switch it or not, and that's something that we had to, to figure out throughout the game. Can you pinpoint a reason why these road games seems like you're always digging out of that hole each week or each week? Um, I mean, <laughs> because in Minnesota, I feel like it, it wasn't like that. We never dug ourselves in the hole. So we just got to figure out how we can start off hot and never have to have a huge comeback because that just drains us a lot of energy after you do that. It feels like